What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents? Beautiful day. Once you understand the game, life becomes easier, in my opinion. God is good all the time. I say that once you understand the game, life becomes easier. I, I feel like, I hate to say I feel, but I do feel like for a, for a lot for a while I've been searching for certain answers I've been looking thinking that there's some mystical information I need to know like there's some silver bullet to all the ans uh, to all the problems to all the answers to to just life's troubles and I finally figured out that there is no magic answer. For example, I've been in real estate for 10 years now. I've switched around to a lot of different companies and I switched around to a lot of different companies because I always thought, oh, I get listings because, and in this business, there's a difference between working with sellers and working with buyers. Anybody who's been in this business knows that you want to focus mainly on sellers you want to focus on listings you want to focus on getting people to hire you to sell their home rather than you hustling with the buyer all over the place to hopefully find them a home and I've always thought to myself maybe it's because I'm at Century 21 maybe it's because I'm at exit maybe it's because I'm at Rose Realty or best match real estate or this company or that company and I finally it finally clicked in my head and it clicked in my head because this year I right now have three clients. I have Miss Brown on Wickham. I met her and her husband back in 2015, 2016. When I, like, my early years of being in real estate, I met them. And he said he was thinking about it, but he's not ready yet. And then over the years, I've built up this relationship with them. And we was initially, no, I met them in 2014, like 2013, 2014, when I first got into the business. And by 2015, 2016, they wanted to go to Florida. We was gonna get them on the market, ready to go. He had a heart attack. Mr. Brown actually, um, he passed, unfortunately, last year or the year before that. But I sold their family house on Kingsland, and now I'm gonna sell Miss Brown's house on, on Wickham. And she didn't hire me because I'm at Best Match or because I'm at this company or that company. She hired me because of the relationship I built with her. And I will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that she's okay and has the proper representation to be okay. Uh, I have another property coming up on Baychester, Mr. and Mrs. Scott. I met Mr. Scott 2015, 2016. I have not, I did not speak to this man for several years. And a couple months ago, he called me out of nowhere, like, Mr. Harris, we're ready, I want you to sell my house, come over right now, come, come over right now. I didn't even remember, remember the guy until I saw him, like, oh shoot. I haven't met, this, spoken to this guy in years, and. He remembered me. He remembered me. And I was so honored. Mrs. Jones on Pugsley Avenue. I uh I was door knocking, the neighbor said follow up with this person, and I never spoke to her initially, but I just kept knocking on the door, knocking on the door, kept coming by, mailing things out. Just for somebody to hopefully read it. And eventually she called me on my way back from Earn Your Leisure's um, convention. Called me on, while I was at the airport. Went to go see her the next day. We're waiting on some stuff with the attorney, but I'm going to sell the house. And it was never with the company. It was, it was me. And so I, it's just amazing how, like, it took all this time for me to finally click where... It is, who am I? What am I going to do? How am I gonna represent my clients and make sure that I am there for them, always, continually? Being personable, prospecting every freaking day. I don't care how cold and hot or whatever. Sweating out my suit. Be, just being there, you know? And I say all that because um, it's even with relationships. We don't have to argue about women. We know what the freak it is. 
But you as a man, you have to decide whether you're going to sign that contract or not. Which I always say we shouldn't. But you as a man decide and dictate what you're going to stand for, what you're not going to stand for, what you're going to allow, what you're not going to allow. And once we understand the rules to the game and we just rem remove ourselves from the game, everything kind of opens up like, oh, okay. I don't have to settle for this. I don't have to deal with this. I don't have to be that type of person. I don't have to, you know, I can choose different. Fi uh, investing in finance. When we understand the game of, yo, we have to put away money. We have to save for the future. We have to convert this worthless paper dollars into assets, gold, silver, stocks, real estate, invested in business, franchises, whatever. The money has to be productive in some way, shape, or form. Once we understand this, the, the rules to the game, life becomes easier. Friendships, when you understand that most people aren't shit, and the few people that are, you hold on to them. Life becomes easier. You don't need the drama. That's not just the same, when, you, when, you, when we really take time, and I'm so grateful because I feel like I'm coming at that sweet spot in my life. And I'm not even 35 or 40 yet, which I feel like most black men end up getting it around mid to late 30s, early 40s, maybe even some late. I mean, I know black men who are 30s, mid 30s, older than me that don't don't understand certain concepts. I know black men that are 50 and are still thinking they're a Mac daddy, <laughs> like still thinking they're a player, still thinking that they're this and that. At 50, you know, um, and I'm, I'm not here to knock anybody. It's just like, you don't have to be like, we don't have to do these things. I mean, shoot, you, you better off being a, a sugar daddy than, than, than playing certain games in, in a relationship, you know, but it's with everything. Money, fitness, finance, learning how to play the game and understanding life. And then once we really just take the time, and that's the unfortunate part, so many of us don't have the opportunity to even take the time to study. I mean, glory be to God, I've, I've been able to take the time to study because I'm self-employed as well as the fact that like certain things just in my life align where I'm able to just, I was able to just take time to read and grow. Working as a security guard, I took hours just studying. I would smoke it and <laughs> just study, you know? And I'm just grateful. Um, you know, I, real quick, uh, I had a moment where I was like, okay, I really don't want to work for the company I'm working for anymore because I feel like I'm just one of their, one of the cogs in their wheel. And I've been in 10 years and I'm looking at my next five, 10 years. I don't know when automation is going to come. I stay looking up on <laughs> chat, GBT, Bing, Gemini. Like, when do you think real estate and how do, you know, I love that. Th th those tools are amazing. Anyway. And I'm like, even if I have one year left, 2024 left, I want to be the best I can possibly be without being tied to anything or anyone like that. Because at the end of the day, they're not giving me anything but training. And at the end, of the day, I could pay for the training. <laughs> I could pay for the training myself. And I'm like, what do I want the future of this, of this to be, what I've created? You know what I've done and check out my Instagram you know it's in the description all of those properties I've sold I've sold all those houses right here in the Bronx some in Westchester some in Queens whatever but I sold all those nobody has ever given me a deal yo everything I had to earn I had to build with this with this mouth <laughs> and, and 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 just being productive and I'm literally, the last couple days, I'm like, yo, should I go to this company? And I saw my man's, Andy, and I'm like, yo, I should go to maybe his company. I'm just like, no offense to him. I, I was on Zillow, and I'm looking at his sales and what he's done over the past years. And I'm like, yo, I got more than him and everybody at his company. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just like, and it's not, I'm not better than anybody. It's just, I love door knocking. I love cold call. I love hunting. I love just being out there, getting to it. And I don't care how many times I get rejected. I love it. I just enjoy it. Like I'm obsessed with, I love it. Like I, I just fucking love it. And I'm like, I, I, at this point, I can't be with anybody else, man. 
I have to create my own. And I don't want a whole bunch of agents. I don't want 50 agents. I just want myself. <laughs> I want myself, an assistant, a transaction coordinator, and a buyer's agent. That's it. I don't care about anything. I don't need anything, everything else. But I want to have something that represents me and what I give to the public. I don't want to, oh, this broker, and oh, this company. You, you, like I've locked, I've knocked on doors and they shitted on the company I was with because of the things that, that the people that run the company have done. No names. I've had literally people say, nah, I'm not selling with you because of your company. I've had a number of times that's ha that has happened to me. Well, maybe like three to five times over the last 10 years because of the company I'm with now. I heard about, they did this and I, I don't, no, we're not gonna, you know, and I respect it. Nobody will ever, ever say that about my company. Especially black folks, Latino folks. No, no, hell no. I never screw over my people. I just, I just couldn't. I know I gotta stand before God. <laughs> I can never. And feel good, no, no. So I'm just at a, I'm just at a crossroads right now in my life where I'm just like, It's beautiful. When we really take the time to understand life, and, and it's whatever, and it's it's every it's every field of life, every sector, every category. Whether it's family, relationships, health, money, wealth, uh, business, taking the time to study and understand certain concepts and certain places, certain things, and then the whole picture just comes, it just opens up. I'm going to the gym. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Later.